We're adding intimidation to the charges against you. I know. You're both mad and disappointed. I'm neither. I'm displeased. Is that worse? Yes. Of my 16 potential reactions, only one is stronger. And you should be thankful you've never seen me huffy. Well, you have every right to be. I know I messed up. And I just never imagined myself as someone who would make a mistake like that and... Then I just made it worse, you know? Whoa, 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 What are you doing? Learning a lesson? You know what I mean? Lessons to learn. You didn't do anything wrong. What do you want, O'Sullivan? This is Mel Jenkins, city attorney in charge of payoffs and bribes. Uh, not my title. I handle tort claims. Whatever. Mel and I just had ourselves a little chat over morning drinks. More drinks? Relax. It was just a couple of breakfast beers. So, the department is going to settle without admitting any wrongdoing, and because the facts of the case will remain unresolved, there will be no suspension for marzipan... Or Peralta. How's that possible? Peralta arrested and harassed an innocent man. Come on now, these are cops. They gotta make split-second decisions in life or death situations, and they can't be expected to get that 100% correct every single time. This was not a life or death situation. Sure, but next time it might be, and how can this one be expected to do his job when he knows that any teeny tiny lapse in judgment could end with you branding him a dirty cop and ruining his life? Oh, I've never seen this face before. Wait, is that? Yes. He's made me huffy. Do you know what happens when you refuse to punish cops for their mistakes? When police are treated as a separate class of citizen above the law? It breeds a lack of trust in the community, and that lack of trust means people won't help us with our investigations, or testify, or even call us when they're in danger. It makes them more scared of us than of criminals and gangsters. It makes them run when we approach, even though they've done nothing wrong. It makes the people see us as the enemy which leads to more confrontation, more distrust. You wonder how Peralta can do his job when he's held accountable for his actions? I wonder how any of us can do our job if he's not. What a bunch of bunk. The city's gonna settle. There are not gonna be any suspensions. Take the win. Wait. What if I admit I made an error and apologize? He is speaking hypothetically. You'll notice he never used the S word and he never used the M word. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Holy let the record show that he didn't say anything specific. I arrested a man without a sufficient probable cause in a case I was removed from. He has no idea what he's talking about. I then followed my victim to his home. That's a good time for us to leave. In an act that can only be seen as police intimidation. La, 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 I take la, full la, responsibility la, for my mistake, and I'm willing to say as much in a court of law. And what's more, I'm very, very sorry. Yeah, he has to be suspended. I'm sorry. Oh, don't you start. Wow. That was amazing. We beat him. I can't believe it actually worked out okay. You're suspended for five months. Right. I know. But I deserve it, and I learned a valuable lesson from all this, so I'm counting it as a win. I get that, Peralta. But things will be a lot better when a man doesn't have to lose his job for you to learn a lesson. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you, sir. It was crazy when you got huffy. I was so huffy. I got scared. Wow. Yeah.